Uh, okay, number 36, here we go. What was in the Ark of the Covenant? Now, um, before we start, actually, this one was kind of a thinker. So this one I wrote that this one is kind of above my pay grade to answer. So I have an answer. It's just from another source. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like maybe his internet was messing up or something. So hopefully we'll see Christian in a minute. Uh, First Kings 8 says, There was nothing in the ark except the two, tone, two stone tablets that Moses had placed in it at Horeb, where the Lord had made a covenant with the Israelites after they had come out of the land of Egypt. And then Hebrews 9, 4 says, uh, speaking of the holy, let's see, the holy of holies, containing the golden altar of incense and the golden gold-covered ark of the covenant. Inside the ark were the gold jar of manna, Aaron's staff that had budded, and the stone tablets of the covenant. So, the first one just says the two two stone tablets were in there, and the other one says it was the gold jar of manna, Aaron's staff, and the stone tablets. So, and actually the one, the first verse says there was nothing in the ark except the two stone tablets. So it's an exclusive claim. So what's hmm. going on here? And you've got the second Chronicles one too. The second Chronicles one. Yes. It's just not on the slide. It says there was nothing in the ark except the two tablets that Moses had placed in it at Horeb, where the Lord had made a covenant with the Israelites after they had come out of Egypt. So it's pretty much the same as first Kings. Right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so I looked so, up when, like, what was the date that that event, um, you know, that that what the the event that those two verses are describing, uh, First Kings and Second Chronicles. So I was curious, well, <clears throat> what time period are we talking about? From what I saw, it looked like it was around uh, one thousand BC. Okay. Um, and then, mm -hmm. and then I was curious. Okay, well, when did when did we, when, you know, when did they lose the the uh, Ark of the Covenant? And it looked like that was around 600 BC. So then I was curious, okay, well, then Hebrews would have been written in the first century before 70 AD. Is it possible mm -hmm. in the 400 years from when it was brought into the temple and lost, is it possible that they may have added additional items? Between what time? Um. 1000 BC and 600 BC, which was when it was lost. So uh, we've got a 400 year mm -hmm. period. Um, after, after first Kings and second Chronicles. Yeah. And then you've got, it's, it's a thousand years later that it's being described in, in Hebrews. Um, right. So I'm just curious, like, well, is it necessarily a contradiction or are they all correct? Um, that, yeah. And it could be just two different time periods where there's been a change that's not recorded. Right. Was something passed down that wasn't recorded that the, right. the author of Hebrews was describing as additional items that were included into the Ark? Um, you know, that's possible. That's not what I came across. I think that could possibly work. Because, um, yeah, I mean, First Kings, when it said there's nothing in there except these, you know, the stone tablets... And Second Chronicles says the same thing. Well, that could that that could be the case. And then later, the author of Hebrews was describing that 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 they included additional items later. So I guess you know you've got a you've got a timeline issue, just like we've seen before, where over time things can change. Oh, by the way, Christian said his internet went out. Cursed the gin. Oh no. <laughs> um. You know, I think that's a possible answer. That's not something I had considered before, but I think there's an answer I came across that was pretty convincing to me, and I want to see what you think about it. And it's kind of in depth, so it might take a minute. But let me share my screen again. Okay. Can I make this any bigger? No, I can't make it any bigger. Why can't I make it any bigger? Whatever. Okay, so yeah, I wrote up here, the answer to this kind of goes above my pay grade. So Ben Van Nort has a website called Contradicting Bible Contradictions, and this is what I got from him. The tables, oh geez, typo, my bad. 
the uh, tablets of Moses were in the ark. However, the golden pot filled with manna and Aaron's budded rod were not in the ark, but in the Holy of Holies. The description has the rhetorical form of an anacolton. Man, I wish Christian was here because he could probably tell me what that is. A free enumeration in a loose narrative style. The main goal of this passage is to, dis uh, to have a description of the tabernacle. And here's some verses to compare. This is in um, Hebrews, I believe. A tabernacle which is called the Holy of Holies, having a golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with, with gold, in which was a golden jar holding the manna and Aaron's rod, which budded in the, ta the tables. No, he did write ta uh, tables. And the tables of the covenant. And above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy, mercy seat. That's the New American Standard Bible. The altar of incense before the Holy of Holies was part of it, just as the great altar in front of the tabernacle was part of that. Yeah, so here's an interesting thing. In this verse, it says uh, in Hebrews, the Holy of Holies containing the golden altar of incense. But the thing is, that golden altar of incense was not in the Holy of Holies. It was right outside the curtain. But it says it's containing the golden altar of incense. So what's going on here? Oh, hey, look, we got Leif. Hey, oh, right nice to see you later. Uh, hey. Christian, what, Christian was here, but his internet died because of the gins. So we press on. Um, I'm talking about the Holy of Holies and what was actually in the Ark of the Covenant. So, yeah. Um, let's see. The altar of incense before the Holy of Holies was part of it, just as the great altar in front of the tabernacle was part of that. Then the description continues enumerating all important things in the Holy of Holies, in which is related the Holy of Holies and not with the Ark of the Covenant. There is here a grammatical choice defined by what we now, but by what we know about the furnishing. The Ark of the Covenant is already mentioned, then followed, then follow the golden jar, Aaron's rod, and the tables of the covenant with the two cherubim of the mercy seat above <coughs> it. This guy, uh, by the way, if he's hard to read, apologies because English is not his first language. Uh, but the idea here is you have the Holy of Holies being described with the altar of incense included within the Holy of Holies, even though that it's actually outside the Holy of Holies. And so in the same sense, Aaron's rod and the, the um, golden jar of manna are in the Holy of Holies, but they're included in the Ark of the Covenant. So there's like a parallel where things outside are included within. Um, and here's some Greek to get everybody more confused. Yeah, the entire Holy of Holies was being described together, and the Greek doesn't explicitly place all the articles within the Ark. The sentence actually switches construction halfway through. So this is literal. This is literally the Greek from an uh, interlinear translation. This is going to read kind of weird in English. Um, containing golden altar of incense and the gold-covered Ark of the Covenant... Inside the ark, gold jar of manna, Aaron's staff that had budded, and the stone tablets of the covenant. So here is a, a new, right? New is a, what is it? A um, preposition? Is that right? Um, oh, here we go. The word new does all the lifting for the interpretation. Did the writer mean inside the Holy of Holies or inside the ark? We must back up a step and consider the case of the altar's placement. Other passages locate the altar within the holy place, but not the holy of holies. Yet the writer to the Hebrews includes the altar inside the holy of holies. Why? There are several theories, but the most reasonable and most widely held is that the, wide, the writer included the altar in association with the holy of holies, even though its physical location lay outside the veil. It is connected via ritual association, not local relations. There you go. That's the important thing. So the altar of incense is included within the Holy of Holies, but it's not talking locationally. It's talking ritually. Um, in the same sense, the golden, alt, the golden jar of manna and the staff are within the holy, within the ark, uh, with ritual association, not local association, not by locality. Okay, do you have, sorry. Do you have um, Hebrews, or were you gonna were you gonna read the next one? 
Yeah, let me just finish this real quick, and then okay. I can bring it back up. You're talking about just the context of the passage? Um, yeah, just the just the verse. Yeah, I can bring that up because I have it here. Let me just finish this real quick, so I can continue to confuse people. If the connection made between the altar and the Holy of Holies was of a theological rather than a locational sense, then it's possible the same can be said for the gold jar, staff, and the ark. In summary, the passages from 1 Kings and 2 Chronicles refer to the stone tablets in their physical location, but the writer to the Hebrews refers to things contained within the ark in a theological sense. The gold jar, staff, and tablets are all theologically connected to the ark and can be said to be within or included with the ark in that sense. Thus, alleging a contradiction doesn't work since there's a better explanation given. Okay, now let me share Hebrews for you, and you can say what you were going to say. There you go. So... <clears throat> Um, I bet my answer was really confusing. It looks like half of our audience dropped off. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are confused cool. about it, let me know and I can try to explain it better. Yeah, because here it says specifically inside the ark were the gold jar of manna, Aaron's right. staff, and the stone tablets. What verse? Right. Um, oh, Berean. Um, yeah, because I was looking at ESV, and I was, I noticed it says, uh, so it's mentioning the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden urn. Um, but before that, it was talking about the holy place. So then it's a question of, well, in which is it referring to right before it, the Ark of the Covenant, or mm -hmm. the or the totality of the space, which would be the Holy of Holies. So to me, like, uh, from what, what you were reading before, if it was the other way around, if it was, if, if Hebrews mentioned that, that these items were in the Holy of Holies, um, I wouldn't see the contradiction because the Ark of the Covenant is in the Holy of Holies. So everything, right. but, but being that it's specific here, it, it seems that it's saying that these items are are in the ark. I mean, um, you don't even have to go to the interlinear to to see that in both First Kings and Second Chronicles, it's talking about um, the ark being brought into Solomon's temple. But in Hebrews, it specifically says a tent, or rather the tabernacle, which is before the temple. Hmm. So it's at two different times. So it's perfectly fine if. Um, the items that the art contain differed a little bit because again, it's two different times. That's what Ernest had originally oh. said before you hopped on Leif. Uh, wow. Well, yeah. No, actually well, this is this is actually I was saying that it would it would happen after, but this but I didn't know uh, I should I should have read the uh, the entire the entire chapter nine. Because you're right. This is talking about the tabernacle which came before which came before the um before Where are you temple. talking about what verse? Uh, well, nine, oh. nine, one, uh, yeah. or nine, two. Was for a tent was prepared. So this would be referring to the tabernacle, not the temple. Right. So I was oh, thinking okay. I it could have changed saying. after, so, but this could this would imply yes. that it changed before. So, so in are the you saying, Leif, are you saying that? at the tabernacle at the time of the tabernacle it had all these things in it and then later on it just had the yes, um, yes. tablets okay yeah in the tabernacle there's the golden urn holding the manna Aaron's staff that had budded and the tablets mm. of the covenant and then when it was brought into the temple they removed mm. okay i like that yeah I know you jumped in halfway, Christian, but what do you think about this one? No, what, well, and, and just uh, what a great time for life to jump in.